Universalization of Elementary Education UEE. In this video, we are going to discuss some of the MCQ of uh, related to this. Uh, the first MCQ is what is the primary goal of universalization of elementary education? Option to ensure all children complete secondary education, to ensure all children have access to primary education to improve the quality of higher education to promote vocational training answer of this question is option uh, to ensure all children have access to primary education it means option b next which international declaration emphasizes the importance of universal primary education option the geneva convention the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the Kyoto Protocol, or the uh, Maastricht Treaty. Answer of this question is option B. It means two. That is the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Next, which of the following is a significant challenge in achieving UEE in rural area? Option: lack of educational infrastructure, high teacher to students ratio. Availability of digital learning resources, overcrowded classrooms. Answer of this question is option lack of educational infrastructure. It means option one. Next, what is the term dropout rate refers to in the context of UEE? Options the number of students enrolled, enrolled in the school, the number of teachers leaving for their jobs. The percentage of students who leave school before completing their education, the number of schools closed each year. Answer of this question is a option. The percentage of school who leave uh, percentage of students who leave school before completing their education. Next, which scheme was launched by the Indian government to support UEE? Option. Mid the meal scheme, Betty Wachao Betty Padhao, Sarva Siksa Abhijan, Make in India. Answer of this question is option Sarva Siksa Abhijan. Next, what role does teacher training play in UEE? Options, it is not necessary for UEE. It ensures the uh, curriculum is followed, it improves the quality of education and retention of students. It reduces the needs, uh, need for educational infrastructure. Answer of this question is a option. It improves the quality of education and retention of students. Next, which factor is most likely to contribute to high dropout rates in elementary education? Options, inadequate teaching materials, excessive homework, socio-economic issues, availability of playground. Answer of this question is option socio-economic issues. Next, what is the right to education RTE Act 2009? Options, a policy providing free higher education, a policy ensuring free and compulsory education for children aged 6 to 14, a policy promoting vocational training, a policy for improving adult literacy. Answer of this question is option uh, a policy ensuring free and compulsory education for children aged 6 to 14 years. Uh, which organization is responsible for monitoring UEE globally? Option UNESCO, WHO, IMF, WTO. Answer of this question is uh, uh, UNESCO. Next, what is one of the major issues affecting the quality of elementary education in, un in urban slums. Option, lack of qualified teachers, our reliance on technology, low student adherence, high teacher salaries. Answer of this question is lack of qualified teachers. Who, how do uh, gender inequalities impact the universalization of elementary education? Options, it has no impact, it ensures equal opportunities for all students it leads to high enrollment rate for boys or girls it results in a balanced education system 
answer of this question is J options. It leads to higher enrollment rates for boys over girls. Which of the following is a common strategy to improve UEE in developing countries? Options increasing school pitch, providing conditional cash transfer to families, reducing the number of teachers, limiting the curriculum. Answer of this question is option providing conditional cash transfer to families. Next, what does inclusive education mean in the context of UEE? Options educating only the privileged, including children with disabilities and from marginalized community in regular school, focusing only on academic subjects, providing education in private institutions. Answer of this question is option including children with disabilities and from marginalized communities in irregular schools. Next, which of the following is an indicator of success in UEE? Options, high student teacher ratio, high dropout ratio, improved literacy rate among children, low enrollment ratio. Answer of this question is improved literacy rate among children. Next, what is a significant barrier to achieving UEE in conflict affected area? Options, lack of interest in education, abundance of educational resources, safety and security concerns, high economic growth. Answer of this question is option safety and security concern. How does poverty influence the universalization of elementary education? Option, it increases access to private school, it decreases the need for public education, it leads to higher dropout rate and low enrollment rates, it improves the quality of education. Answer of this question is option, it leads to higher dropout rate and lower enrollment rates. Next, which of the following program aims to reduce child labor and promote UEE? Options, National Skill Development Program, National Child Labor Project, Start of India, Digital India. Answer of this question is option, National Child Labor Project. Next, what is the purpose of the mid meal scheme in the context of UA, UEE? Options, it provides textbooks. It attracts children to school for providing free, free meals to offer free new, uh, uniforms to train teachers. Answer of this question is to attract children to schools by providing free meals. Next, which demographic factor can hinder the universal, universalization of elementary education? Option, urbanization, declining birth rates, high population growth, increasing life expectancy. Answer of this question is option high population growth. Next, which of the following is an F effect of poor infrastructure on UEE? Options, increased student motivation, higher teacher retention rate, lower student enrollment and attendance rate, enhanced learning outcomes. Answer of this question is option uh, lower student enrollment and attendance rates. Next, what is the role of community participation in achieving universalization of elementary education? Options, it reduces the need for government funding. It creates ownership and accountability, leading to better educational outcomes. It limits the involvement of parents. It focuses solely on academic performance. Answer of this question is option. It creates ownership and accountability leading to better educational outcomes. Next, what impact does child parents have on UEE? Option, it has no impact. It increases fo the focuses of on education. It leads to higher education, higher dropout rate among girls. It promotes gender equality. Answer of this question is option, it leads to higher dropout rate among girls. Which of the following policies supports the education of children from economically weaker section in India? Options Right to Education Act, Make in India, Smart Cities Mission, Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. 
answer of this question is option right to education act which teaching method is often effective in promoting UEE options lecture based teaching interactive and child centered learning solely theoretical teaching strict discipline focused teaching answer of this question is option interactive and child centered learning what is the importance of non formal education in the context of UEE options it provides education in a flexible manner to out of school children it focuses on higher education it limits the scope of learning it is not relevant to UE answer of this question is option it provides education in a flexible manner to out of school children next what role does early childhood education plays in achieving UE options it has no significant role it prepares students for primary education and reduces dropout rates it increases the complexity of the education system it is only relevant for uh, urban areas answer of this question it prepares children for primary education and reduces dropout rates how does migration affect the universalization of elementary education options it stabilizes school enrollment it disrupts the education of children and led to high dropout rates it has no impact on education it enhances the quality of education answer of this question is it disrupt the educated of children and leads to high dropout rates next what is the purpose of school mapping in UEE options to identify and close down schools to assess and improve access to education for all children to increase teacher workload to focus on secondary education answer of this question is option to assess and improve access to education for all children next which of the following is a significant issue faced by children with disability in assessing universalization of elementary education option lack of special education teacher overcrowded classrooms abundance of resources low student teacher ratio answer of this question is lack of special education teachers what is the significance of the education for all efa initiative options it focuses on higher education it aims to provide universal access to quality basic education it limits access to education it promotes only vocational training answer of this question is option it aims to provide universal access to quality ed basic education which of the following is not a primary challenge in achieving universalization of elementary education in developing country options high dropout rates lack of infrastructure shortage of qualified teachers access uh, of educational technology answer of this question is option access of educational technology next the right to education act in india mandated free and compulsory education for children between which age group 4 to 14 years 6 to 14 years 5 to 14 year 7 to 15 year years answer of this question is option 4 to 14 years 6 to 14 years which of the following best describes the concept of hidden dropout options students who are enrolled but frequently absent students who leave school without formal notification students who are present in class but not learning students who drop out due to socio-economic factors answer of this question is option student who are present in the class but not learning next what is the primary aim of the mid day meal scheme in relation to universalization of elementary education option to improve nutritional status of children to increase school enrollment and retention to create employment in a rural area to promote local uh, cogit in schools answer of this question is option to increase school enrollment and retention which of the following is considered the most significant barrier to girls education in many developing countries option lack of female teachers distance to school cultural and social norms cost of education answer of this question is option 
कल्चरल एंड सोशल नॉर्म्स नेक्स्ट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मल्टी ग्रेड टीचिंग इज ऑप्टन एम्प्लॉयड इन रूरल स्कूल टू एड्रेस हुई इश्यू ऑफ सम ओवर कॉडिंग इन क्लासरूम शॉर्टेज ऑफ टीचर्स डायवर्स लर्निंग नीड्स लैक ऑफ सब्जेक्ट स्पेशलिस्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ सम शॉर्टेज ऑफ टीचर्स व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बेस्ट डिस्क्राइब्स द मैथ्यू इफेक्ट इन एजुकेशन ऑप्शन द टेंडेंसी फॉर गर्ल्स टू आउट परफॉर्म्स बॉयज इन एलिमेंटरी एजुकेशन द वाइडनिंग गैप बिटवीन हाई एंड लो अचीवर्स ओवर टाइम द इंपैक्ट ऑफ रिलीजियस बिलीव्स ऑन एजुकेशनल अटेनमेंट the correlations between teacher qualification and students performance answer of this question is of some the widening gap between high and low achievers over time what is the primary criticism of the no detention policy implemented under right to education act in india options it increases dropout rates it lead to grade inflation it demotivates high achieving education it may result in learning deficit answer of this question is option it may result in learning deficits which of the following is not typically considered a form of exclusion in elementary education options economic exclusion social exclusion pedagogical exclusion technological exclusion answer of this question is technological exclusion नेक्स्ट द सर्वशिक्षा अभियान एजुकेशन फॉर ऑल मूवमेंट इन इंडिया प्राइमरीली फोकसेस ऑन ऑप्शन हायर एजुकेशन एलिमेंटरी एजुकेशन एडल्ट एजुकेशन वोकेशनल एजुकेशन आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन एलिमेंटरी एजुकेशन नेक्स्ट व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बेस्ट डिस्क्राइब्स द कांसेप्ट ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ एलिमेंटरी एजुकेशन ऑप्शन द कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग एजुकेशनल मटेरियल the potential earning lost while attending school the cost of training teachers the expenses related to school infrastructure and the answer of this question is option the potential earnings lo uh, lost while attending school what is the primary purpose of bridging uh, bridge schools courses in the context of universalization of elementary education options to prepare student for higher education to train teachers in new pedagogical method to integrate out of school children into formal schooling to provide additional support for girl students answer of this question is option to integrate out of school children into formal schooling which of the following is considered a push out factor in elementary education option three textbook and uniforms corporal punishment inclusive classroom practices parent teacher association answer of this question is option corporal punishment next the jomit jomtens declaration of 1990 is significant in the context of universal elementary education because it introduced the concept of inclusive education launched the education uh, launched the education for all movement mandated free and compulsory education worldwide established gold standard for teacher training answer of this question is option launched the education for all movement next which of the following best describe the concept of pedagogical content knowledge options knowledge of subject matter only knowledge of teaching method only integration of content knowledge and pedagogy understanding of educational policies answer of this question is integration of knowledge content content knowledge and pedagogy next the millennium development goals set up by united nations in 2000 aimed to achieve universal primary education by which year options 2010 2015 2020 2025 2020, answer of this question is option 2020 2015 which of the following is not typically considered a component of quality education in the context of universal elementary education options relevant curriculum effective pedagogy standardized testing self learning environment answer of this question is option standardized testing the concept of mother tongue based multilingual education is 
primarily aimed at addressing which challenge in universal elementary education of some teacher shortages, linguistic barrier to learning, gender disparities in education, lack of educational resources. Answer of this question is of some linguistic barriers to learning. Which of the following best describes the capability approach in education as proposed by Amritya Sen? Of some focus on standardized test score, emphasis on vocational skills, prioritizing freedom to achieve well-being, concentration on root learning. Answer of this question is of some prioritizing freedom to achieve well-being. Next, the education index used in calculating human development index consider which two factors? Option literacy rate and gross enrollment ratio, mean year of schooling and expected year of schooling, teacher student ratio and educational expenditure, dropout rate and completion rate. Answer of this question is option mean years of schooling and expected years of schooling. Which of the following is not a typical consequences of child labor on universal elementary education? Option increased dropout threat, lower academic performance, higher enrollment rates, reduced attendance. Answer of this question is option C, that is higher enrollment rate. Next, the Global Partnership for Education, GPE, primarily focuses on higher education in developed country, basic education in developing country, adult education worldwide, vocational training in emerging economies. Answer of this question is option B, that is basic education in developing country. Next, which of the following best describes the concept of education poverty? Option, lack of financial resources for education, less than four years of school education, absence of school in a community, inability to read or write. Answer of this question is option B, that is less than four years of education. Next, the ASER annual status of education report in India is known for assessing of some teacher performance, school infrastructure, learning opportunity, learning outcomes, enrollment rates. Answer of this question is option C that is learning opportunity and learning outcomes. Next, which of the following is not typically considered a non-formal education approach? Option evening classes, distance learning programs, regular day schools, community learning centers. Answer of this question is option C, that is regular day schools. Next, the concept of inclusive education primarily aimed to address the need of needs of option gifted students, students with disabilities, linguistic minorities, all diverse learners. Answer of this question is option D, that is all diverse learners. Which international organization publishes the annual global education monitoring report? Options UNICEF, World Bank, UNESCO, OECD. Answer of this, is, uh, answer of this question is UNESCO. Next, the pupil teacher ratio is an important indicator in elementary education because it affects school budget allocation, quality of instruction, student transportation, parental involvement. Answer of this question is option B, that is quality instruction. Next, which of the following is not typically component of school readiness? Option cognitive skill, socio-emotional development, physical health and motor development, parental education level. Answer of this question is option D, that is parental education level. The Coleman report of 1966 is significant in education research because it highlighted the impact of teacher qualification on student achievement, school funding on educational outcomes, socioeconomic factor on academic performance, curriculum design on student engagement. Answer of this question is option C, that is socioeconomic factors on academic performance. Next, which of the following best describes the concept of credit retention? Option, keeping students 
in the same grade for an additional year, promoting student regardless of performance, grouping students by ability rather than age, accelerating gifted students to higher grades. Answer of this question is option E, that is keeping student in the same grade for an additional year. The education for all movement set six goals to be achieved by 2050. Which of the following was not one of these goals? Options expanding early childhood care and education, achieving universal primary education, promoting lifelong learning opportunities, improving adult literacy rates. Answer of this question is option C that is promoting lifelong learning opportunities. Next, which of the following best describes the summer learning loss phenomena? Option decrease in enrollment during summer months, loss of academic skill during summer vacation, increase drop out rates in warm climates, reduction in teacher effectiveness in hot weather. Answer of this question is option B that is loss of academic skill during summer vacation. Next, the concept of vertical equity in education finance refers to option equal funding for all students, different funding based on individual needs, increased funding for higher grades, allocation of funds based on school size. Answer of this question is option B that is different funding based on individual needs. Which of the following is not typically considered a soft skill in elementary education? Option Communication, Collaboration, Critical Thinking, Calculus. Answer of this question is option D, that is Calculus. The zone of proximal development theory proposed by Vygotsky is important in elementary education because it emphasizes the role of punishment in learning, the importance of peer competition, the potential for learning with guidance, the need for strict discipline. Answer of this question is option C, that is the potential for learning with guidance. Next, which of the following best describes the concept of educational resilience? Option, the ability to maintain school buildings in harsh condition, the capacity to achieve academic success despite adversity, the flexibility of curriculum to adapt to local needs, the durability of educational materials. Answer of this question is option B, that is the capacity to achieve academic success despite adversity. The digital divide in education primarily refers to option, the gap between students who have access to technology and those who don't, the difference in computer skill between teachers and students, the disparities in funding between urban and rural schools, the variation in e-learning adoption read across countries. Answer of this question is option A that is the gap between students who have access to technology and those who don't. Next, which of the following is not typically a characteristic of child friendly school? Option Safe and productive environment, gender sensitive approaches, strict disciplinary measures, community engagement. Answer of this question is option C that is strict disciplinary measures. The Matthew effect in reading development suggests that boys generally read better than girls, early readers continue to outgo, outpace their peers, reading skills decline with age, multilingual children have an advantages in reading. Answer of this question is option B, that is early readers, read, readers continue, to support, uh, continue to outpace their peers. The opportunity to learn standard primarily focuses on option equality in access to educational resources, standardized testing procedure, teacher evaluation methods, school funding formulas. Answer of this question is option A, that is equality in access to educational resources. Which of the following is not typically considered a dimension of education quality as per UNESCO? Option learner characteristic, context, inputs, stock market performance. Answer of this question is option D, that is stock market performance. 
the concept of cultural capital in education as proposed by Pierre Bourdieu refers to options financial resources for cultural activities in schools, non-financial social assets that promote social mobility, cultural diversity in classroom, funding for arts education. Answer of this question is option B, that is non-financial social asset that promote social mobility. Which of the following best describes the school to prison pipeline? Options A. A vocational program for students interested in law enforcement. Options uh, Which of the following best describes the school to prisons pipeline? Option A vocational program for students interest, uh, interested in law enforcement. A disciplinary system that pushes students out of school and into the criminal justice system. A rehabilitation program for juvenile offenders. A career counseling initiative for adults uh, youth. Answer of this question is option B. That is a disciplinary system that pushes students out of school and into the criminal justice system. The pick million effect in education refers to the impact of ancient literature on modern curriculum, the influence of teacher expedition on student performance, the role of mythology in language development, the effect of classroom aesthetic on learning. Answer of this question is option B, that is the influence of teacher expedition on student performance. Which of the following is not typically a component of 21st century skill? Option critical thinking, collaboration, creativity, calligraphy. Answer of this question is option D, that is calligraphy. The concept of fund of knowledge in education emphasizes the importance of options school budgeting and finance management, recognizing the utilizing and utilizing schools, home and community resources, uh, fundraising for educational programs, teaching financial literacy. Answer of this question is option B, that is recognizing and utilizing student home and community resources. Which of the following best describes achievement gap in education? Option, the difference in funding between high and low performance schools, the disparities in academic performance between groups of students, the gap between teacher expedition and students' performance, the difference in achievement between standardized test and classroom assessment. Answer of this question is option B, that is the disparities in academic performance between groups of students. Which of the following is not typically considered a form of alternative education? Option Montessori schools, Wal uh, Waldorf education, traditional public school, homeschooling. Answer of this question is option C, that is traditional public school. The concept of scaffolding in education refers to options building a new school infrastructure, temporary support provided to help learner programs, a disciplinary method involving isolation, a system for orga uh, organizing classroom material. Answer of this question is option B, that is temporary support provided to help learner progress. Uh, which are not related to universal education of elementary education that is why i am skipping uh, 